Pensioners in Abia State have once again taken to the street, urging the federal government to prevail on the state government to save their lives. Led by their coordinator, Chukwemeka Okeze, the pensioners were in all black attires, weeping and singing retributive songs, marched around the capital city to show their anger. Addressing newsmen, Okeze said that Monday, two of their members died out of starvation by not being able to buy drugs, adding that recently the state started paying over three months but half pension. He said since 2014, total number of unpaid monthly pension is 38 months, non harmonization of pensions from 1998 to 2010, and unpaid accumulated gratuities for 20 years. Nigerians have been advised to be more vigilant and security conscious in preparing for self-defense, as the nature of security in the country, particularly the Southwest, is becoming worrisome. The General Overseer of Victory Life Bible Church, Apostle Lawrence Atrudeme, made this known in Abe Okuta while speaking on the incessant attack on churches and kidnap of higher profile priests and men of God in southwest Nigeria. Our correspondent in Ogun State, Abibad Ajayi, filed in this report. Representatives of religious people in the society, church leaders have condemned the act of kidnapping and killing targeted at religious centers. They tag the incident as a bad omen to the country, which can affect the socio-economic and political growth of the nation, even as they vow to preach more on security consciousness to members, especially during this electioneering process. All over the country there are crises, security crises. Now you don't know how, which way to pass to go to any part of the states now. So nowhere is really secure. So we need a, a president, a, a governor, that will be sincere enough to deal with this crisis headlong, anywhere they are. Because even in my house here, under one month, the tapes came in three times. So security today is a big challenge, especially to the church. Looking at the way they are now attacking churches, that means what has been happening, what we have been hearing in the north, has now become part of what is happening now in Southwest. I think it is high time let the masses come out and let the government know that they must buck up, like I said before, and do something about the security. If there's any time we must fight for our rights, it is during this electioneering campaign that we must let them know that enough is enough. Also, a member of League of Imams condemned and showed concern about the situation, advising religious leaders to look inward and live a moderate life, which will not attract the men of underworld. Meanwhile, meetings are said to be ongoing among faith leaders in finding a solution. Hence, Nigerians in the Southwest would be left with no other options than to defend themselves. The thing the Muslim community will not condone, uh, because in our Korean, in our scriptures, we have been taught to protect everybody. Um, so he went on to equally tell him that if there is need for the religious community to raise up, take up arm and defend the faith community, that they should count on us and want to do it together. Abacha was quoted to have said that if banditry or terrorism, you know, last over 24 hours in any system, then the people in government or in power knows about it. People said those that attacked them in Kaduna came with helicopters. I mean, for God's sake, chopper is not something anybody in the community can just have access to. So who owns that chopper? Where did it take off from? Where did it get fuel? You know, these are questions that need to be answered. And not just anybody can answer, but government. The issue of insecurity was, however, narrow down to unemployment amongst others as government at all levels have been urged to live up to the people's expectations and the hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates